As you can see, I have just bought an ambulance. I'm gonna walk you through it right now, step by step. Come on, let's go. So here we have the front. If you've never seen inside the ambulance before, especially if you're new to EMS, this video is gonna help you out tremendously. I've bought this ambulance for training to help you. So let me show you the front. So the front of the ambulance, this is a simple van ambulance, the type two ambulance. So we step on up, come up on here. So let me get our lights off. So this right here, up in here is called, I, you know, there are many different names. I like to call it the module master. So what this does right here, this controls all the different buttons, the siren, which is over here. These are the lights. So if I put this up, you can see now our lights are on, right? So now back to normal. Here, there are something called floodlights. So let's say at night you are trying to light up a scene. It's decently late right now. Let's say it was nighttime. I have a left flood light, I have a rear flood, and the right flood, is, you can see that there. And then you can see a patient dome. Patient dome, you can, maybe you saw that the light come from back here, that turned on the actual lights in the back of the ambulance. So this is why they call it the module master, okay? Now here, you can probably hear that. That's for the patient heat and AC, right? Nice to put that on for your patient, right? And then if I wanna shut everything off, in one click, boom. And then you go, I like to have everything clean, shut off and off position. Now over here, this is our siren. Now, sometimes in the ambulance, depending on the ambulance, it, you can have it up here, lights and siren. Sometimes you have it down here. So you can move like this with the siren. In this case, the siren's actually, you're driving, you'd be driving like this. Siren's up here, you go back to here, you're driving. Now what we have, we have an air horn. And then we have a, three different settings for our actual siren as well. And then we have a mono and dual mode. We have a radio mode as well. Okay, so there would be a radio here, obviously a radio in this ambulance, but this would be where your radio would be. You could stick it here, this would be your radio. Now, in, again, some ambulances, between the seats, there could be something uh, that a lot of services call an MDT, okay? So what that basically is, is all of your like mobile tracking. So it gives you all the information on the call. So dispatch information, the address, chief complaint, all the notes in the call from dispatch to you. There'd be a computer here that would go around this area. That's what we'd have there. Pretty cool? Let's go to the back. So here we are in the back of the ambulance. So this is where we do our work, our patient care. Now what we have here is a type two ambulance. This is not a box ambulance, it's a van ambulance. Meaning, as you can see here, there's just about enough room for the stretcher where on the bench seat right here is where you actually be with sitting uh, next to the patient doing care. There's also another seat here for like, for example, like the airway. This is called the captain's chair right here, right? So that's our seating arrangement that we have. The stretcher would be here. In a box ambulance, there is another seat over here where the cabinets are. So th that would be a box of a larger ambulance. This is a traditional uh, van ambulance type two. Now, with that being said, Let's go through some of this. So first we have a lot of cabinets, right? So to give you an example, right, of a, of a setup. This could be, for example, trauma equipment. This could be a lot of like bandaging supplies, OPAs, NPAs. This could be like where we have uh, larger dressings, OB kits. We have suction over here. This is where the oxygen ports are. This would be all of our oxygen equipment. This is actually the, the narcotics cabinet. Right here is where the narcotics go. So like our morphine, our Versed, our Ativan, Valium, stuff like that. That's gonna be here, fentanyl, right? For example, right? Now we have some additional cabinetry over here, which is usually different in, you know, in every ambulance, but you have, um, you know, it could be more medications, more supplies, et cetera, et cetera. Then over here, we have some um, different outlets that we can use to uh, plug things in, whether it could be a, a drip, whether it could be an extra machine, for example. Then we have all our lights. So here's our patient dome. We can turn the lights on, turn them off. You can see that. We can turn how high they are like this, high to low, right? Very important, the exhaust vent. So we have a patient we want to, you know, that, that is a respiratory patient, for example, or for, for you know, uh, other reasons, we would use the exhaust vent, right? Now this you're going to hear right now. That is the actual suction. 
that's coming out of here, okay? So there, there would be a suction catheter set placed here, and you have the actual suction supplies usually tucked in right underneath. Now, here is the, you can hear that. That's gonna be actually the heat and AC, and you have the fan settings over here. So that's all we have over here on this side. There'll be option tree clipped in here. Now, right here you can see, here's our actual, um, uh, you know, most of the time, the majority of the time, where you might have your, your, your actual cardiac monitor. Another place that's very popular is on you know, the back of the stretcher. You can see my little uh, MacGyver trick here using the seat belt to secure it. I'll get you like that one. And uh, we actually have, okay, so this is, this, in this ambulance, this is used for gurneys, sheets, and, and, and gurneys and sheets, uh, you know, different uh, ch uh, chucks for the actual uh, bed. So it's like bed sheets. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, where does the actual oxygen go? Well, in this ambulance, I'll show you. So the spare oxygen, uh, an actual an additional spare auction was actually held over here. It looks like there was a, sec a secondary one held over here. So two spare auctions were held over here. They were out of play, if you will. They weren't in use. They were just spares. Now, on the back of the actual stretcher is where the oxygen bottle actually goes. You're actually going to use when moving the patient or on scene, right? Now, the main auction, I'm going to pop these doors out and I'm going to show you. Okay, so you can come on with me. I'll show you. Let's pop these doors open. So right over here, you can see the auction bottle. I'm gonna open this for you, pop it open. So you can see in here, this is where the auction actually connects. Pretty cool. So that's the main auction that's gonna go right over there. So you see that auction port right there? That's, there's gonna be a little auction tree. I'll try and get a picture of it for you. And right there is where the auction's gonna be in the actual ambulance. There's a few more things I wanna show you around the ambulance we haven't seen just yet. So here, come around over here, let me show you. So here's our setup. Now, you're gonna see some things on, on the floor here. So, first things first. So this actual bracket was for just for, for just for wipes, wiping down the stretcher and stuff like that. Over here, you're gonna see a little, a little uh, turn dial. This turn dial here is gonna actually, another way of turning the lights on in the back of the ambulance. Right over here is where you would put um, backboards. So backboards or any devices for patient movement would fit underneath here, okay? Over in this area is where the stair chair would go in the ambulance, right? Now, part of this channel and what I'm working on and what you'll be able to see is me gathering all this equipment to teach you how to use all of it. Suction equipment, stretcher, stair chair. And we're gonna have tutorials on this channel. So if you've seen this video, make sure to subscribe down below and you're gonna get to see all these cool tutorials. Now, come back in here. This is pretty cool. So underneath here, you can actually pop this open and open it up. So let me just move my life pack here. You'll see more videos on this too, life pack. So I move my life pack out of the way. So I can actually, oh, by the way, if you didn't know, seatbelts are nice. So I can move this and I can actually pop this open like this. So now underneath here, I can actually go in here and I can also, also store more stuff as well. Okay, pretty cool. I can lock it back up. And now I can bring my life pack back in and continue on. Now here's my little trick. When you take the seat belt. Now let's say you're sitting over there and you're secured in, right? I can move this off like this behind here, hold this taut. I can come back in here and seat belt in the life pack. So now my life pack is right like this. So I'm able to see the life pack, work on it while I'm over here. Pretty cool. And then finally, this would be uh, over here. You can get a shot of it. Would be where the garbage would be and then the actual uh, sharp container would be in there. And that is pretty much our, our walkthrough. There is another thing that I can give you a quick tip on. We can see these clips up here. These clips up here are for IV bags. And the first link in the description down below is what I give to all my students, uh, whether you're getting ready for school, in school right now, or getting ready for your NREMT exam at any level. I give all my students lifetime access the first link in the description down below. You're going to see a video on the screen right now. Watch it. You'll learn even more. I'll see you there.